Well, good day, tubes. Oh, how's she going? Holy crap. Minus 23 out here today. Feels like minus 31, they say, with, you know, the wind blowing around, the wind chill stuff. That sure chilled down overnight. Holy crap. So I got my big suit on. It's a little bit warmer than uh, just my pants, my insulated pants, and just my other brown coat. It's more meant for, like, outside like this, like on a snowmobile or something, right? It's not very thick, but it's surprisingly quite warm. Uh, my legs will get a bit kind of cold. I gotta go out in the tractor here and do a bit of rubbing on the road. <laughs> Snow rubbing. But uh, yeah, my legs will get a little a little chilly, but uh, I haven't got a whole lot to do, so it shouldn't wholly, hopefully take too long. But uh, of course, you know, I left the big tractor out last night. Oh. I kind of doubt it's going to go today, but I'm going to give her a shot. See what's going to happen. It's probably just going to go roar, 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 if it's just too cold for it. Not been plugged in or nothing, so. I'll tell you, fingers are getting tender already, so. <laughs> we'll do a couple of cold starts here, first of all. It's really early. It's almost, it's just after 7 in the morning. And, uh. Maybe I'll try doing a bit of grid heating today on this. Basically just push the, the guy in there and uh, we'll give him a little crank here. Maybe I'll give him a bit more fuel and uh, I, I kind of doubt it's going to do much. Yeah, I wonder too if there's an issue with the oil I've got in it. I don't know you guys, some of you guys have been saying about it. That could possibly be, <clears throat> it's just too thick of oil when it's really cold, but I'll give him a plug in here. I'll do my snow. Ooh, fingers are really cold. And uh, we'll, we'll plug them in and uh, let them sit there and warm for an hour. So. Oh, it's nice in here though. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. Or not. Okay, so let's yoink out the cord. And that should be enough. Mm -hmm. And just like that, I uh, should put this, oh, it's up and over the thing here, I guess. You should put it where it's quite visual, this cord, in case you think, oh, let's just fire it up and go. And, uh, and then all of a sudden you're uh, yoinking cords and stuff. There we go, that should work. Holy cow, close this freaking door down. Let's go see if the little guy will start here. Hopefully it will. Hopefully the little guy will start. <laughs> if not, uh-oh. I guess we're not doing our snow then. Uh, uh. Okay, we'll give them some some glow in first. The little glow plug stewy, come on there, let them warm up a couple of times here. Holy man, that hand's freezing. Oh. Gurgle, 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 gurgle. It's good, it's just down there, full tank. Now that's the bypass for the pump running back into the tank. You probably wouldn't hear that if it was full. Okay, I'm gonna give her another series of glow here. Holy crap, it's cold out here. It's not windy, which is really nice because blowing or using this sweeper when she's uh, she's windy out really sucks. It's pretty calm out here actually, it's nice. So I'm having to get out uh, a little bit earlier than I normally do for uh, the trail guys, or, well, they're not in yet, but anyways, here we go. Uh-oh, oh. i turn that to, to there. Okay, here we go. Yeah, it's the same oil that's in this, the 1540. That one started pretty good, so I don't know. Oh, man, smoke. Anyways, we'll go get warmed up a little bit. Throw a few more clothes on. I might even wear my uh, 
Where are my goggle things here? I think they're sitting right here, yeah. I might even clean, pull those out with some air maybe, and I might even wear those things. So, how's our piston looking here from last night? Oh, look at the scrime. Oh, wow. Let's give her a little clean off here. It's actually got a little bit corroded, it looks like. That's not maybe not too good. But I think if we wiped her down, it might be all right. Okay, looks like something from Star Wars, but I'm going in. I think it's really bright out, I can slow those down. Pretty pretty cool. But anyway, so this piston, I don't know, she's not looking too good. That ring's still really stuck here, so... I don't know, she might be toast. I, I don't know. It's. Uh, I thought maybe that might have loosened her up overnight, but uh, I don't know. Maybe she's been welded in there with the, the heat and stuff. I don't know. But anyway, so I'm going to go do my snow. I did get some wood last night for our bench. It's in there. I'll lean it up against the wall, and uh, we'll be able to... Uh, do some cutting today hopefully but anyway so I'm gonna go do my snow and freeze my freeze my face off hopefully not and we shall return let me tell you that sucked <laughs> that was freaking cold today holy I gotta go warm myself up a little bit freaking cold alrighty well we got our saw out here we're gonna cut one board here anyways uh, to four four Feet. Now, I couldn't get cedar last night. They don't apparently stock it this time of year at the Home Depot, which I thought was odd. She's like, no, we don't, uh, we don't carry much of that through the winter. I'm like, oh, well, that's not good. <laughs> so, yeah, we're just going to have to use no more crappy old spruce stuff here. <laughs> So there's our two fours. Now, this is going to be tricky because I'm going to need to leave this here. Uh, the way I got to cut these boards, or I'm not really not looking forward to it. <laughs> but uh, I don't know exactly know how I'm going to do this, other than maybe this is going to work out maybe not too bad, or will it? Maybe not. Oh boy. Thinking, how am I going to hold this board down if I want to flop off here while well, I'm cutting it? Hence why the table saw would make more sense. Uh, but first of all, I forgot my big screwdriver. I'm going to have to see if I can get one of these boards off here so I can get the right angle of measurements and stuff. Alright, so we'll do this first one here, I guess. It's probably actually one of the ones that's sort of in the best shape, but... These are all loose and good in the fall, so hopefully they're gonna stay that way they're not a really super good screw my screwdriver is bent for some weird reason they should have had more like a stainless steel bolt maybe put it in but maybe I'll <coughs> go to the uh, that one's out. Duh. <laughs> I might go to the uh, you know, extreme of sandblasting them and maybe painting them or something. Or maybe getting new bolts. I don't know. They're kind of a, well, sort of huge. Looks like maybe a, maybe a 3 8 bolt. <clears throat> I don't know. Uh, let me go grab one and see. It's just the head that's kind of weird. It's like a huge counter sunk head right yeah I think that's all they are is like a 3 8 inch bolt so let's just try her yeah I think so nothing really super too special yeah that holds in pretty good <coughs> I kind of doubted they would have used just something really stupid and you know metric -y kind of weird but I don't know maybe they'll still work all right I'll have to uh Figure out how to get the nice little countersink done in them because uh, they just sort of drilled, I guess, you know, like a whatever size a head that is on the top and drove on, right? Okay, so yeah, you can see a little bit of rottenage happen on this one now. 
maybe some bit of a bug infestation too. But anyways, that's all we can do. So I'm going to get her get her saw set up for what we got to cut here, and uh, we'll give her a shot. Whew, this is making me nervous. <laughs> I'm going to have to try to cut her this way because the saw doesn't go the other way, the angle. So I really wish I had a table saw, <laughs> but I don't. So yeah, I got my little fence in there. It's as tight as it can go. I got it like a. I don't know, that's a not quite 30 degree angle there, so it seems to be a little floppy, but I think if I keep her right on the edge there, we might hopefully do her. This is really making me nervous here, I don't know, I'd rather have a table saw, that's for sure. Anyways, uh, I guess I need some some juice here too for powering our saw. Pulled the cord in off the tractor for this morning. It was pretty much stiff enough it was going to break. So cutting this this way might end up making me want to get a table saw. And I got my depth set too on my saw so it's just going to barely skim this top of the table but it should cut through the wood. Is the plan. Now, how much of a shot are you guys getting? We're either going to cut this or I'm going to end up losing a finger or something here. Okay. Now, I just want to do a compare here first. I think it's the wide end is almost, yeah, it's almost the same width as the wood. So, we just got to shave off a hair little bit on the underside here. Okay, here goes nothing. Make sure I don't cut my cord. Keep that flat and that tight. We should be good. A mess. But I think we got her. There's our sliver. So now, technically, if we put the old one and this one, uh, if I did it the right way, <laughs> we should get a whole normal looking, well, except for the old crafty part, piece of wood back. So, yeah, there we go. So that's kind of cool. And, uh, Cut pretty good. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm, you know, professional, but uh, let's see how it looks on here with the old stuff. Okay, so once we get her drilled, get all crubby stuff off. Once we get her drilled and screwed on, I, don't know, I think it'll be all right. It might need a little bit of shaving on the top here because it'd be maybe a sharpie kind of edge, but. Somewhere's in about there. Okay, so that was easy. Well, that's number one. And these guys here are just, I think, square, square, straight cut ones. So that's easy. Okay, I can't run two things at once here. <laughs> there, there we go. Yeah, so I don't know what to say if I should get new bolts. It would look nicer. But, you know, in time, they're going to age just as fast as these ones did. Now, the next question is, how in the frick do you know where to really re-drill these things again? They don't look like they're very squared in the middle of these boards. Oh, that was really rotten. Holy crap. Put these back together as you know, kind of as one. I don't know if I should maybe get a little 
short little 3 8 bolt and just cut the head off so I can just screw it in there and I can maybe set the boards on just on top of this little spike kind of thing and then just kind of hammer it then I'll know exactly where to drill it when I get them kind of positioned right. That may not be a bad idea. I don't know if I really want to just go from where these ones are drilled because they're so rotten out and they're not really in very good shape. So that might be the better way. I have to sacrifice a couple little bolts, but um, so that one. These two should be about the same. And these ones are the ones that are really bad here. So yeah, it seems kind of funny they don't have cedar this time of year. But they had a 2x4x8s by by and <coughs> their website listed it as like 888 or something. But man, at their, their store there it was like 11 something. So I'm like, holy crap, that's going to put up the price a lot more. From these which were like 350 a piece. So I figured I'd just go with these guys. You know. There, so that's the seat. That one's got a bit of a. Might be the same cut as these other ones. That'd be nice. They kind of almost look all the same. Geez, I don't know if I'm gonna have very much to go by on some of these though. Maybe in here a little bit. Pretty rotten out though. Probably all the same cut. Uh oh. These must be a stainless steel insert in these things. I don't know. Because there's no way these things should come out this easy. Okay, and these are just bang, bang, bang. My most main concern was these other ones that have this weird angle cut on them too. So we'll get them up on the bench here and we'll see if it's the same cut. Well that's excellent. They're all the same cut. There it is on the old one there so I can cut two more like that. The rest are all straight cuts. That should hopefully go back together. That's gonna work really good. Okay uh, let's cut one more here. Boy these are rotten some of these. Whew. Rotten, rotten. Yeah, you just skim the table there. That's good. Worked out pretty nice. And here we go again. I think. So there's our other one. Okay, one more cut with that angle. Thank goodness, because those are a freaking nightmare. <laughs> uh, but anyways, okay. Let's get her lined up in here. but oh it's just it makes me so nervous using them all the time okay so let's have a look see over here now very good now we've got those two just kind of temporarily set there this guy will be for the front 
should go there. Stay. Now I've got a couple extra cut. I still need to cut these ones for the top here, but uh, now did I do that wrong? Or did I do that wrong? I'm not too sure. Maybe I did that wrong. I think that one should have a, a cut on it too, maybe. Or maybe not. No, I put it on wrong. There we go. Put it on backwards. So there's your asset. You know what I mean, asset. Now we need three for this guy. I've got to cut the one big one yet. And uh, I almost give her a shot here now if you're right in it. Oh, it's a little more stabler. But they got to be bolted down. <laughs> so that's going to be the thing to figure out how the best way would be to do that. Uh, well, I mean, you could just do a edumacated guess, but I kind of don't really want to do that. Got to kind of measure how much overhang you've got, I guess. Also, it depends how wide, it, wide you made your boards, too, right? So there we got a two inch over. Crap. Two inch over. Two and an eighth. Two and a quarter, I'm trying to get her lined up right. It looks like a two and a quarter overhang. Really wish I could just, you know, see through and done. It's not gonna work though. <laughs> so like if we maybe get all these kind of lined up. Quarter. That one's off a hair bit. Yeah, it's pretty close to the quarter. I'm not looking for you know exact perfect measurement, but somewhere close would be nice. Now that's gonna. I'm just trying to think how the frick am I gonna do this. I mean, yeah, I guess I could use the old boards and just kind of put my pen through and just drill a little, draw a little hole, but I'm not sure if I want to do it that way or not, how I want to do it exactly. But something like that will work. Now, I just want to double make sure. Oh, these ones are off a bit for some reason. It could be the cement, too. This is showing that it needs to go that way, like quarter inch. Well, let's just see here. What do we got here? We got two and five eighths. Yeah, that's way off. That could be the cement, though. That could be something that's shifted there on me. That's another factor. You got to get all that line back up. Yeah, I think it actually has. It's maybe moved. Yeah, that'll make a difference right there. So it's pretty particular that you get these on pretty straight, I guess, and in the right spot. So that is going to be something I'm going to have to think about how I'm going to do that, because right now, so far, I'm not sure. Well, I thought maybe I'd make a couple little dowel locating pin dewies. I should, should screw into the holes here and uh, be able to put the board on kind of loosely-ish where I'm thinking it looks good. And uh, maybe be able to give her a little bit of a hammer, you know, and then uh, oops, that should mark on the underside roughly where I'm going to want to drill. Now, well, I'm fairly deep in there, so that's not too bad, I guess. Okay, so. I just want to make sure too that we're 
things are looking here. And I know it's kind of leaning a bit funny, but I don't know uh, exactly how you're going to change that a whole lot because it's going to kind of want to sit where it's going to want to sit because there's no real cross braces or anything on this. So, uh, where'd my tape go? Brr. Let's kind of see what things are looking like here. Two and a quarter there. Yeah, that's kind of a thing, because, you know, where's this thing supposed to sit? I think it's supposed to be over this way more, but that's not where it's wanting to rest. So I'm going to do her where she's wanting to rest. left a little bit of a dent. Somewhere. What the frick? like that. Hopefully the rest of these will kind of be sort of in the right spot too. That one goes right in there somewhere. Yeah, I think we'll have enough bolts there. A bolt to catch her. So I guess I'll go drill this one. Take our studs out of here again. And I blew the holes out compressed air in case there was some junk in them and uh, we'll come and screw this one back on and see if we like it all right got her drilled I got uh, even some counter sunk thingies drilled we'll see if she'll melt back together here a little tight Might be not too fun trying to screw those back in. Not too bad. And there. About there. Screwdriver. Screwdriver. Ah. Comes there. Oh, I might have. Should have maybe drilled these a little bit bigger. To drill them a little hair a bit bigger and run it through a few times maybe. Oh well. It's not too bad. Probably should have greased those fellers up, putting them back in. I don't think I'm going to change the screw. I'm just going to drive on with them, I think. Uh, but now, next one. Need to turn my air compressor on. Oh, I got my little studs. Seem to work pretty good. Just helps you mark, right? Like, I don't know, unless you knew a bang on measurement or whatever with these things so they fit perfect. I'm not exactly sure how you'd do it. 
neat too because you can look down and say, yeah, that's looking pretty good down there. I think I'll drive those in there. About the same length, close enough. Oh, I like that too much. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> she bounced on me a hair bit there. I don't want a really tight fit on this one. I want it to kind of fit down and in a bit. Ah, oh, crap. I didn't look at the length. Okay. Pretty close. It's off a hair bit there. But... Should be alright once it's down and inside. Once it's down and inside, she'll be in about here somewhere. You want a little gap, you know, but not a huge gap. I'll drop her in there somewhere. And then we'll bolt that fella on. Alright, well, I'll film doing this one and then the rest of them I'll probably just throw them together and put them on and then, you know, show you when she's all, all done and stuff. Um, these ones I thought I'd drill a lot bigger, but uh, apparently not. Apparently not. That one's better. Oh crap. Hopefully that's the right way. Too bad. Or my screwdriver go. Screwdriver. There you are. They had a bit deeper head on these things. Of course, they could be half full of crap too. I probably should have sandblasted them. But... All right, it's working. Good. Ooh, that one's tight. That's gonna make it any better or not. Oh yeah. So just think I've got like another eight of these benches. Something like that. Okay. Well that one's good. Let's get this guy lined up here now. Gotta blow his, blow his hole off. <laughs> and we'll mark and drill this guy. Went too far that one. Uh -oh. This new wood all crubbed up with all the old old crap. Okay, this one I'm gonna try to get a little snugger tight here because I'm kind of coming off my line a little bit. not good. Maybe I can make her up here in a minute. Anyways, I'll get the rest of these on here, well these, the bench part, and then uh, show you when we're all bolted up. Well, we're just screwing on the last little dewy here. I uh, had to file a little wee one here. Wasn't fitting bang on, so we uh, opened her up a little bit. That wasn't too bad. These top ones I basically just took off and matched them up because they were still, you know, not too bad. Oh. And, 
just basically drilled them. I didn't use my little studs on these ones, so that's about her. A little more solid than it was before. Well, there we go. Doesn't look too bad. I wouldn't put a square on it, but anyways. Uh, yeah, these things sit kind of weird, so she's definitely a lot more solid though, so that's good. She's holding up nice. I'd sit on it. Hey, I'm sitting on it. Oh, actually, it feels pretty good, yeah. This uh, piece down here feels nice on your butt. Almost feels like it needs another piece like here, but for some reason they didn't drill and put a, a threads in there, so I don't know, but yeah, yeah, I, I'd, I'd sit on it. Feels good. Like I say, I don't know, I'm not going to probably seal it with nothing. This should probably have a little plane planed off here a little bit. Because there's like a little bit of a ugh, but you know, repetitive people getting up and off it three times a year. <laughs> it's about all the people that sit on these things and that uh, will eventually wear down again, I guess. But uh, yeah, these ones here, I guess I should have started. I don't know, maybe, maybe it was me or maybe it was where their deweys are located. I guess this one should have gone back more. This one probably should have gone ahead more, but I, I kind of think they're sitting where they were sitting before, so uh, I don't know. It's probably all right. This one here is just the only one that's kind of off, and this one's kind of wonky too, but hey, what the heck. She's good and strong. I think she'll be fine. Uh, now, what am I going to do with it? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Pretty much going to have to take her back outside, I guess, and uh, put her back in the snowbank. Oh well, can we do? But first, this thing's been unplugged for a couple, three, two hours now maybe, so we'll see if she'll start because I'm going to have to pull her head to get that bench out of here. Eh, not too bad, I guess. Not too bad. Ooh, it's pretty cold though. Ah, better let her sit a minute. <coughs> oh, but anyways, then we'll get that out. Uh, We'll put the bench back out here where she was, ready for spring, and uh, we'll put the tractor back away. <laughs> Holy cow, this thing was lighter yesterday. <laughs> Freaking heavy these things, let me tell ya. That's why I usually use the the forklift, go right underneath it, pick it up, and let it know. That wood's nice and so almost white you can hardly even see it except for the rotten old concrete. But anyways, she'll do another, I don't know, 15 years maybe, maybe less. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, me pressure washing them, you know, every once a year is probably not really good on the wood. But 
you know, you blow off all the kind of stuff that's, you know, somewhat rotted on the outside that's keeping the inside maybe good. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, they don't, uh, they don't stock cedar at, uh, I'm gonna go see. Ooh. They don't stock cedar at, uh, at the depot, so well, this time of year, but I don't know. That's uh, maybe more of a summertime thing when they're building decks and stuff or gazebos and stuff like that, right? They might keep a little more of that in stock, but uh, yeah, so I guess if I do any more, I'll have to wait till summer to get cedar or uh, find somewhere else to get it. There is other lumber stores around, but uh, eh, you know, it's not too bad. Like I say, you know, <laughs> These things have definitely uh, seen a lot more days than people ever sit, sit on them. So, you know, if that bench there gets sat on maybe three three times a week, maybe, at the most. So, it doesn't, I don't know, kind of silly really, but that's the way she is. Well, that's it for today. I think it warmed up like three degrees today. That's it. Freaking horrible. Oh, oh, and that's a real bad wind. Oh! Holy, oh, need more beard, wrap it around my face. <laughs> but anyways, uh, that's it for today. I'm freaking heading home. Holy crap, that's cold. Oh. Oh. But anyways, you guys have a good night. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you maybe tomorrow. I don't know what's going on tomorrow if we're doing anything. I haven't really got any projects planned. Uh, other than maybe my wife wants to go do a bit of shopping. So, who knows. We'll bring maybe the camera with us and yeah, I don't know if we'll film much, but you never know what you're gonna find until you get there. <laughs> I'll tell you that one. But, um, oh man, this is cold out here. <sighs> Beating cars. <sighs> These guys that are building the trail back here, they're in uh, in and out lots. One guy had to talk to their, uh, their boss. <laughs> they don't drive like that through here, bud, or you're not gonna be driving through here. I said to the guy, and he's like, oh, okay, yeah, no, no, I'll look after that, no problem, no problem, no problem. So the guy come in today, I seen him, and yeah, he was driving pretty slow. Because, <laughs> you know, I ain't putting up with crap like that. If they're wanting to come in here and do this trail thing, they're going to have to respect my rules and, you know, regulations and stuff, right? So, but, wow, we, yeah, look at this, lifeline to the truck. See if she starts any better. It's starting fine. Nothing wrong with starting, but uh, I think this is only a, a water cooler block heater. Uh, so, whoa, technically, almost lost her there. Technically, oh, I haven't started this since last night. When I start this thing, it should start blowing warm air pretty soon. I don't know if that block heater's working. <laughs> Let's turn some air on here. I mean, this thing's a 2013, it should be working, but. Uh, I don't know. Maybe she's not hooked up onto the actual block. I haven't actually traced it. I don't know, maybe it's not hooked up. But that's not showing much heat there at all. There's nothing coming out of the van. The way that da, 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 da started, <laughs> I don't think that's hooked up. So that's quite interesting. I'm definitely not going to be tracing her this time of year. To heck with that. Probably goes up from the front and up and around and into the, you know, like the block heater where it plugs in. Maybe that wasn't ever plugged on, you know, the actual element. I don't know. It's been plugged in since, uh, well, it's 4.14 now. The book says it should be up to temperature in about three hours. And I've had her plugged on since 10 o'clock <laughs> this morning. 11, 12, 1, it should have been up to temperature and it's had an extra four hours. Yeah, I don't think that's working. So that's interesting. I guess we could uh, pop the hood here and just have a quick look down and see if we can see anything. Let's pop the Dewey because that uh, should have whoop, better than that like a summer day right that should be warm enough in there now so oh, okay so this thing comes in here of course 
comes in there and it goes down here, down onto here. That's, uh, that's the, the dewey there. Looks like it goes into a loom there, and then after that, I, I don't know, I lost her. I can still see her down there, but then it goes that way, and then I don't know. I don't know after that, so there's too many uh, tubes and stuff in the way. But anyways, boy, that belt looks like a nightmare to get into. Holy, that sucks. Anyways, I guess there's no point in really leaving this thing plugged on. Uh-huh. So yeah, I don't uh, kind of think that's really working. Strange as it may be. Although, I don't know. It's not hot air coming out here now, but it's not, you know, still frigid. And of course, I don't have her up to full blast here either. So yeah, yeah it's not, not really warm. I kind of wish they had a better heat gauge dewey on her than just that, you know. I think that's the fella right there you'd be looking at. So, I don't know, I got her started up now. Maybe I better take her for a little spin. I don't I don't want to just shut her off again now, you know, after it's been, you know, fired up for five minutes here now. So maybe I'll go for a little spin up the highway and back and forth or whatever. And, uh, what temperature is it? Minus 15. I was thinking I might go wash it too, but I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> I got a, a, not a free wash here, but the last time I got fuel, last few times I got fuel, I'm like, oh man, I really want to wash the truck, but there's like, you know, 18 cars lined up. I'm like, she's like, uh, the wife says, well, why don't you just get one and use it next time? I'm like, okay, I guess I could do that. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go for a little tour and I'll come back. But anyways, uh, I guess, well, unless there's something else awesome out there, we'll say good day for now. Don't you like this? I'm just thinking now it's 417. Look how bright it is out still. Oh, I like that. That's awesome. About friggin' time. <laughs> you know, we only probably got maybe another hour and a bit of light left, and that'll be it. But, uh, I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. Still be. Sun should still be, like, you know, way up high yet, where it's, you know, down over my house almost there and gone. So, spring's coming. I know it takes for friggin' ever, but uh, I'll be nice when it's here, I'll tell you. Well, anyways, uh, yeah, so. Well, maybe say good day right now, but if there's anything else, I'll include her on. If not, then that's it. Have a good night, and thanks for watching. And tomorrow, if we go shopping or whatever, we'll take the camera with us. And <coughs> if there's anything awesome, then we'll film. But if not, then that'll be it. So, anyways, I uh, was working on a farm sim Saturday a little bit, too, for you. So, I wasn't going to do one this week, and I thought, oh, well, this uh, map I got is pretty good. So, you know, let's play her. So uh, I did some, and uh, yeah, come out pretty good. Uh, not super huge, long hour and 13 minutes or something. Wasn't super crazy, but uh, all that, and I kind of want to do a little bit of uh, train sim, maybe for you. Uh, train sim, and ooh, my trans temp's minus four still. <laughs> I'll wait till that gets to zero, and then I'll leave. It doesn't take too long. Actually, it warms up pretty quick. It was probably at about, well, it would have been minus 15 when we started here, so minus three now, so yeah, she warms up pretty quick. Uh, yeah, I want to do a bit of train sim. Uh, train sim's pretty good. Uh, you really got to kind of know what you're doing, which I'm sort of getting onto the ball over now. It's taken a bit, you know, because, you know, to get the track set right, and then if you don't, you know, get it right, then you derail it or whatever, and crash into so many else or whatever, but uh, the signals, I haven't really gotten into them a whole lot yet. If it's red, yeah, you know, you stop, but flashing red, I'm like, okay, does that mean don't go slowly or, or proceed slowly? And then there's yellow and then there's like a flashing yellow and then there's of course green which I obviously know what that means uh, so yeah I, I don't know I have to do some more research on it I guess figure out what is what but uh, train sim is pretty good but uh, oh it's long and drawn out that's the only thing it really sucks but I try to you know look around look at the scenery as we're going by you go by a nice lake or over a big bridge or you know big nice mountains with all kinds of trees and you know cars stopping at railway stop it's pretty cool but it's cheesier kind of graphics for you know, a game that's fairly new, fresh out, you think they'd be fairly decent graphics, but uh, I don't know, they're not really that great. <laughs> They've got like 2D trees, if you can catch it right, you can look at the tree like this, but most times if you're going by the tree, it, it, it'll kind of turn with you, so it always looks, you know, normal. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but uh, 
Uh, we'll try maybe a short run of something, see how you guys like it. I do have quite a few different trains. I've got, uh, I can't tell you by name, but there's quite a few I got in there and some switchers, which, you know, are just little small guys that, you know, for marshalling and stuff. I got, uh, I think, three or four steam trains. Uh, a bunch of electrics, which I'm not super crazy in electrics because that's all like commuting commuter stuff and it's kind of kind of crappy. Uh, quite a few of the diesels though, they're kind of fun. And it's neat because you can uh, set up kind of your own route on one of the routes and you can put like 52 trains on it if you want in one car, you know, if you want to go that way. Or uh, one train, one poor guy himself with, you know, 100 cars behind him, which is pretty much impossible. So. It's quite fun, but uh, yeah, well, maybe we'll try a little blurb of it for maybe on the weekend sometime. I got crap on me or something. Must have. And uh, yeah, we'll see how we make out with it. But I'm um, going to probably try to do a mechanic sim again for you. Is that uh, you guys seem to look like that? So, you know, it's kind of sort of corny, cheesy too, but it's, you know, somewhat funnish. It's fun to play. So uh, I wish it was a little more in depth, you know, like, oh, take your brake caliper over to the bench and then blah, 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 oh it's fixed well it'd be nice to be able to tear that thing apart and you know hone out the little cylinder and put a new piston in it and you know do it like that a little more of the mechanically side of it right instead of just blah, 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 done kind of cheesy so but anyways i'll head her out go for a little ride we're at four degrees now Woo, nice so and we'll catch you tomorrow if we're doing something or whatever i don't know what's happening yet so um tomorrow's friday so might be uh something I don't know maybe we'll just do some shopping or something I haven't got nothing really planned back there uh, yeah so anyways uh, have a good night thanks for watching and hopefully you enjoyed the bench job today it was a freaking pain in the rear end literally it was a nice asset though good asset you know what I mean horrible jokes I know but uh, <laughs> someone hopefully won't uh, put their rear end through the old one the old boards now and then she'd be good for another 10 15 years so but anyways, um, have a good night. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you tomorrow. Uh, I don't know if I've shown you, but this thing's got, this truck's got descent control on it. I'm in it right now. I'm not doing nothing. All I'm doing is steering. It's braking and everything for me. It's not downshifting. I think we're still in, you know, whatever gear, but it'll actually brake for you. <clears throat> and I know it does that, because if you're on a slippery area, you'll feel you'll hear that uh, ABS doing its thing, right? So I got her set at 20 kilometers an hour right here. So we're going down a fairly decent hill here we're actually almost down and it's it's yeah just slow down again <laughs> to let off a little bit now let off a little bit it'll actually it actually breaks for you too I'm like that's pretty cool so yeah pretty decent hill and she's kept her at 20 all the way down for me and you can set it too if I wanted to go slower you could set it to 10 there and it should keep her at 10 yeah, now we're doing 10, right? Right up to 32, I think, is the max. And after that, it kicks off, or it'll warn you, I guess. So, yeah, now we're, you know, we're at 10. That's kind of cool, eh? So, I wanted to go even slower. There's, like, 5. Now she's keeping her going at 5 for me. I'm not doing nothing except, you know, whatever. But now if I want to speed up more, give her a bit of gas, and then wherever you let her off, that's kind of where she'll keep it back at 20 there now. Pretty sweet, eh? Don't know when I'm gonna really use her a whole lot, but uh, eh, for stuff like that, you know, let the thing do her thing for you and uh, hopefully it doesn't kill you. So and then I gotta just shut her off here and then, and then look out, she'll take right off. Oh, we're kind of flattening out here a little bit now, but anyways, thought I'd show you that. It's kind of sweet. 